All right, y'all, I have about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So this package I got, it's uh, three, about three breasts. So those two look like they're stuck together. So we're just gonna put those on the bottom of our grease crock pot. All right, next here, oh, I dropped my fork. We have a package of uh, Italian seasoning, this dry Italian seasoning. We're gonna put this right on top of our chicken. All right, just like that. Perfect. All right, y'all, so for this recipe, we're gonna use two cans of, of condensed soup. Um, Y'all can use whatever kind you'd like, but for this recipe, I like to use one cream of mushroom with garlic. I think it's real good. So we're gonna get that. <coughs> Ooh, I just inhaled some of that seasoning, y'all. Be careful. Maybe I should be wearing a mask while I do this. <laughs> Make some of those, those uh, police happy out there. Y'all after me. Glove police still after me. All right. And then we also gonna use here, I like using one can of the condensed French onion soup. I think it's real good in here. All right, so we just pour that in like so, right on top of our chicken. I'm gonna spread this out a little bit. It's all going to the same place. It's all gonna to cook together, so it don't really matter if it's perfect, but uh, that, that looks great, just like that. All right, so now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna add a little more seasoning. I, I like using some more Italian seasoning, so I have a little bit of basil here, a little bit of dried basil. I also have a little bit of dried oregano. All right, and you can put as much or as little as you'd like. And then I like, I think it needs a little more pepper, so we're gonna put a little pepper as well. We don't need more salt, that's for sure. This is a delicious, easy dinner, y'all. I'm about to leave for my day, so I'm just putting this in my crock pot. It'll be ready for later. All right, so now we have one package of cream cheese here. It's eight ounces. So if y'all want, you can just uh, put this whole brick right on in. But for this recipe, I, I like to cut it up. I feel like it, uh, I don't know. I don't really know why, but we're just gonna cut it up and put it around, all right? Just wherever it falls is totally fine with me. Just like this. It's gonna be a delicious, easy dinner. Y'all are gonna love this dish, all right. And then I also use a little bit of butter. So this is probably about uh, one to two tablespoons of butter. I just put it right on in. I feel like it helps thicken it a little bit, makes it real tasty. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna cover this up. I'm gonna put this on low, about four hours, and then we have one more step. Y'all are gonna love this easy dinner. All right, y'all, this has been on low for about, I don't know, about five hours or so. I kind of lost track of time, but that's all right. So I wish y'all could smell this. It smells so good. So we have uh, one more little step. We're gonna just, we just gonna um, shred up this chicken. Oh, this is perfect, y'all. It's coming right apart. This smells so good. And you know what, y'all? I love this recipe because you can use whatever kind of flavors you'd like. So remember, I used one can of the cream of mushroom, and then I also used one can of the uh, French onion, the condensed soup. Now, that's my favorite flavors, but if y'all want to experiment, y'all can use uh, different soups if you want. Cream of chicken, cream of celery, there's all kinds of cream of stuffed soup. So, y'all use whatever you want. All right. So, I'm just going to give this a little mix. So, I, I kind of shred, I didn't shred the chicken perfect, but that's all right. It's, it's fork tender. It's falling apart. So, I'm just going to give this a little mix to kind of incorporate the cream cheese. All right, y'all. Y'all are going to love this. It's so good. Fred's so excited, he loves when I make this. He's over here waiting for his dinner. All right, y'all, so now what we gonna do, I'm gonna move these to the side. We gonna add a little pasta, all right? We're making this a delicious, hearty meal. So I'm gonna, let's see, I cooked a whole box of this uh, tri-colored pasta. I don't think I'm gonna add it all. I'm gonna put some in, some, my favorite measurement, some. How much? Some, all right? And we're gonna mix this up. And just by looking at this, I think we can put a little bit more in. I think we're gonna do, uh, I don't know, let's see. Okay, that's probably good. Mmm, this smells so good, y'all. All right, so we got our tri-colored pasta, we got our chicken. You know what, we actually using the whole box. Whole box of pasta, yep. I wasn't going to, but I changed my mind. Perfect, so we're just gonna mix this up. We have one more little step, y'all, and then we gonna eat some dinner. We gonna eat some dinner. This is my, actually mine and Fred's dinner tonight. Sometimes I just film a lot of videos during the day and uh, give food to my family and friends, but this is actually dinner for me and Fred tonight, all right? He's excited, aren't you, Fred? I am. All right. He's brushing the cats right now. He's being a good husband. Last step, y'all, I have some Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna put this cheese on top, just like so. All right, y'all, and uh, you know what? We actually, we're using all of it. We're using the whole bag, because this is a lot. The rest of this is going in the freezer. And uh, that's about it. So I'm gonna cover this up, let it cook on high for about 15 more minutes just to melt this cheese a little bit, y'all. And then it's gonna be time to eat. I'm so excited. 
All right, y'all, I had this on high for about 15 minutes. You see my cheese is pretty melty right there, so guess what? Time to eat. I'm so excited. Y'all are gonna love this dish. And if y'all don't like cheese, you can leave it off. All right, I know y'all are like, you put cheese on everything. Well, guess what? I love cheese, so that's what I do. Look at this pasta, though. Creamy, it smells so good, y'all. So I'm gonna put this in my bowl right here. I'm gonna mix it up. You know what, I want some more from down here. This is gonna be so good. It's still real hot, but guess what? I'm gonna try it right here. I'm gonna try it, y'all. I'm excited. I'm actually gonna eat this whole bowl. This is my dinner, but before me and Fred sit down to eat, I'm gonna have a bite for y'all so y'all can see how good it is. I already know it's gonna be good. It's hot though. All right, y'all, I'm gonna eat it. Mmm, mmm, y'all. Y'all, so good. Y'all have to try this. 